um, the attitude of Kenny Dalglish after the game last night. Kenny's becoming a little bit paranoid, I think, in his, uh, in his relationships with those people who have a job to communicate with the fans. That's yeah. all we do. We communicate with the yeah. fans on behalf of the football club. That's, that, that's what we do. And uh, Mr Dalglish clearly is at odds a little bit with the way he thinks those, those, those communications are being yeah, interpreted. Yeah, he's uh, sarcasm and, and he's getting very pedantic. And yeah. uh, I, 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 he grates me sometimes. But again, I keep going back and a little bit like the Liverpool fans, I guess, that he is King Kenny and he has earned the right. But sooner or later, he's got to knock it on the head. Yeah. I mean, I didn't like his attitude towards um, talking to the reporter, saying, yeah. if you're invited, you'll hear all about the uh, the game mm. at the weekend on Thursday at press yeah. conference. Yeah. I didn't like the way that he automatically said the referee made the right decision for the second yeah. possible sending off yeah, of sure. Uh, sure. the uh, Brad Jones. Sure. Uh, he was just, oh, he was yeah. niggling I back know, all I the know. time. Well, he, I, I do think that he, he, he tends to take these things to heart and take them seriously. Right, let's get up to the Skype wall. Delighted to introduce our Merseyside correspondent, Graeme Beecroft, is with us now. Beaky, good evening to your pal. Very good evening. Yeah, great, great. Thanks for being with us. Um, Flash just mentioned okay. the incident in the show, uh, sorry, in the game last night. It was in the show as well because we were watching it. But uh, in the game last night, that second penalty, Flash told me just before we started tonight, that should have been a sending off as well. Do you agree? Well, uh, interestingly enough, Steve Keane, the Blackburn manager, spoke after the game and he said that he felt the referee got it right in both instances as far as the decisions with the goalkeepers were concerned. He mm. felt that it was a sending off for, for Doney. I don't think anybody could argue that. Yeah. And he felt that the yellow card for Brad Jones was also the right decision within the framework of how the laws of the game are interpreted uh, just at the moment. In that, uh, uh, the striking Akuma was going away from the goal and yeah. therefore not directly heading towards the goal. And there might have been another Liverpool defender who came in uh, and swept the ball away. So he felt it was right, more importantly than what I felt. Well, you didn't, but he did, did feel at the end of the game that uh, the goal that uh, Andy Carroll scored shouldn't have been allowed because he said that Skirtle had fouled uh, the centre-half Hanley, held yeah. him down. Yeah. Uh, Hanley would have got up and been marking uh, Carroll and uh, Carroll had a free header in the end and scored from it. But he felt that the, that should have been pulled back. So it was one that evaded me, I have to say. But apparently on the replay, which I haven't watched, I must admit, yeah. it uh, it suggested that uh, that he may well have been right in that respect. Yeah, Graham. Also, do you think that a referee? Um, I, I think he was emotionally involved on on a couple of decisions. Yeah. First of all, Young Flanagan. He'd already been booked, and then he goes through the back of a yeah, player. Yeah. It's an automatic yellow card, yeah, off he gone, goes. Yeah. But again, I think he was swayed by the, the, the kid's youth, because yeah. he also pulled over the captain and said, have a word. Yeah. I disagree yeah. with the, sec the yellow card for Brad Jones, because it's the most professional foul you're ever likely to see. There was no way that he was going to get the ball before Yakubu, so he just pushed him in the back. Mm. Well, uh, again, I haven't seen any replays of that, so I'm only going from what I saw in the game. But I thought Yakubu was clever as well because I had a fairly decent line of sight in terms of where the ball was going yeah. and where Yakubu was running. And I felt that Yakubu went into Jones uh, quite deliberately uh, to, to gain the penalty. I have to say that was my view of it. I've only watched it once. I haven't watched it a second time. Yeah. So I think it was a bit of six of one and half a dozen of the other involved in that one. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, he could have very easily had a red card instead of yellow. There is no question about it. But I think the referee's interpretation was a pretty good one, bearing in mind what we what we know is the interpretation of the rule. Yakuba would have been actually running away from the goal. Yeah, but who's to say he wouldn't have caught the an ball? Opportunity to, to get the ball away. So, I mean, as I say, Steve Keane felt it was the right yeah, decision, yeah. and he would have been the, the, the person who was uh, feeling most anxious mm -hmm. about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Tonight Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.